now at 10. Gotta believe pretty much anybody passing through this Manhattan Beach neighborhood is doing a double take <laughs> when they see this pink emoji house. Hmm. Now the homeowner says that bright paint job you just saw with the big emojis mm -hmm. is because she's a lover of art. Yeah, but some of her neighbors say the motive was a little more vicious. Tonight, Kate Kelly's Christy Fajardo is live in Manhattan Beach with that story. Christy? Yes, yeah, Susie and Jeff, emojis are so commonplace these days. There's even a dictionary of the symbols. But when it comes to this house, neighbors say you don't need to be fluent to know that this is a veiled message and it's sparking emoji indignation. These days, it's not the ocean views getting double takes on 39th Street. We love the emoji house. Now, this house has neighbors <laughs> from the zippered mouth. To the long eyelashes, they say this is emoji for revenge. I think that it's not even ambiguous, actually. The zip the lip is a very clearly language. We all know what that means. Neighbors say the pink and the emojis went up after the owner, Catherine Kidd, was fined $4,000. Her neighbors, including one known for her eyelash extensions, had complained to the city that she was illegally running a short term rental. Kid. I rolls that theory. It's a message to me to be positive and happy and love life. I have eyelash extensions. Um, the eyes are like a Mona Lisa eyes. They kind of follow you. It might not be an emoji, but a hashtag, the neighbors argue, hints at her true intentions. In a now edited post under hashtag emoji house, the artist wrote, are your neighbors constantly ratting you out? Have they cost you thousands in fines? I think it violates every sense of common decency and neighborly act. I thought it was a cheery thing. I thought it was something positive. Kid, though, calls it art and hearts the paint job that people are even walking backwards to photograph. And the tenant gives it a thumbs up, a smiley face. Oh, yeah, and this too. I thought it was hysterical. Um, I didn't really know that any story behind it, but uh, I just knew it was easy for my friends to find my place. Now, some neighbors have emailed city leaders and say they're disappointed that the city hasn't put an end to the emoji house. Kid, for her part, though, says she loves the artwork and has no intentions of painting over it. Live in Manhattan Beach, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News. Well, whichever side you come down on, Christy, it's clever. <laughs>